Hello there guys and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Your Team, Small But Mighty, the Mighty Men Squad. This team today looks really nice and thanks ever so much to Darren for sending it in. So really we're going to break it down. Do the players play well together or are they good individually? Do we have a nice set of custom tactics, player instructions? We're going to find out today. So make sure to leave a like, 2500 is always much appreciated. If you need in game codes or anything game related, head over to g2.com, use that code Fuji for cash back and let's go. The team formation that was sent in, a 4-3-1-2 and Darren has done his best to include as many team of the seasons, it looks like it anyway. When I took a look at the side, first of all, Verratti, 5 for 5, Siri, 5 for 6, Gomez, 5 for 5, small but maybe mighty, and that's what we're going to find out. So the only change that I did make was to bring in the SPC Buffon to replace the non informed Buffon. I didn't think it was uh, a good reason for me to go on the market and purchase this in the non informed when I've got the SPC Buffon. So that's the only change that I made. The team, I played exactly how it was sent in with the custom tactics and also play instructions. So let's go through it. Buffon in goal, Aurier right back with the Shadow Chem style. You know I like him. We've got Thiago Silva's team of the season. Now, I think 237,000 coins is a good price. Well, it's respectable. When you take the likes of Chiellini selling for 200, um, you've got Ramos that sells for like 600,000 coins for his team of the year. There aren't really too many stat differences between those cards. So 237 for Silva looks to be a nice price. We're going to find out how he plays. And then Bonucci to partner him. You've got high to high work rates there, medium to high, and then Alexandra who is reliable. So that back four looks very nice. Then moving up to the centre mid position, well I actually changed these two in game just to balance the uh, midfield out a little bit. Verratti, I'm not going to sport anything but the noticeable difference with the cards straight away was his pace in game. The physical stat we're going to talk about in a second when we go to the clips. 191,000 coins, 4 star week for 4 star skill moves, 5 for 5. So just try and picture this. He's 5 for 5 so he's pretty tiny. 98 dribbling with high agility, high balance. So he's going to be able to turn on literally like a sixpence. That is what I was feeling from the card. But yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but he's very good. Uh, Biglia sends him in position, right? I've got to say that for his stats and price, it looks to be the real deal. Like, bargain buy. 75 pace, 86 defense, 88 physical. He's got pace, defending, physical, dribbling, passing. You could play him as a CDM or a center mid. Idle work rates, really, for those uh, positions. And 56K, like I mentioned, is very good. Then we have Siri, another small player in the team. 5 for 6, 62,000 coins. He scored a banger, but 6 games, 2 goals, no assists. All 80s club, and he's even pushing like high 80s for his shooting, uh, passing, and he's got 90 for um, the dribbling. He looks really good actually, and although he is 5 for 6, we're going to find out if he worked. And the star player in this team, not the best player, but the star player because he was getting all of the goals pretty much, El Ferrari, and there was a good reason why, and I'll explain that in a second. But he's amazing, I've been using him uh, quite a bit on the uh, Road to Glory account. Gomez though, right striker position, 282,000 coins. Six games, four goals, one assist. That card right there, 99 pace. Really good shooting, passing, dribbling, and physical. We're going to talk. Like, these small guys, um, I'm, I've been taken back. But Akadi, let's take a look at him. 208,000 coins. Yes, two-star skill moves, which does suck. Four-star weak foot, which is nice. Six games, five goals, two assists. What do you think that Akadi's going to provide you? Good finishing. And, uh, yeah, he's a good finisher, but I was wanting really to see if his other stats were boosted from the informs that I've tried. I like Akadi on this game, but it is a little bit of a downfall that he has um, two-star skill moves. So the player instructions. This is the reason why... El Shirari got so many goals. Gomez was getting behind and drift wide. I don't usually use drift wide in a formation like this, but it was interesting to see how it would work because it did feel like Gomez was wanting to hug the touchline at times, which was allowing me to keep possession down the middle. So it, it basically changed the team uh, at times into a 4-3-3, well, a narrow 4-3-3, which worked really well. And that would give space for El Shirari to run through. And then um, it's getting behind for Icardi. Stay back while attacking for the centre mid and the two fullbacks stay back while attacking. I thought that he used stay back while attacking for all of the centre mids, but that wasn't the case. So this team does look pretty nice. Custom tactics that he sent in. Uh, only rule changes actually to the speed. I think he used my 60 uh, chance creation and then the aggression went up to 75. He said that this works really well for him and that's what I'm going to be using today. So if you do enjoy hashtag your team, make sure to drop a like. If you've got any squads that you want to send in, make sure to tweet me, DM me, all that good stuff. 
and let's find out if this team works well together. Let's go to the clips. So the team itself today is a million coins, which is very expensive, but it's not always about the team. You might like the look of individual players that you want to bring into your own side. So that's what I'm going to be recommending. The team itself and also priority buys really the best players in this team i'm gonna let you know which ones to go and purchase so we'll work our way from the top to the bottom and break it down 94a to the cardi what is the difference with this card he is very good with his feet he can set the shots ever so well agile on the ball his finishing was very nice and he's going to get you a lot of goals the way the team is set out he's there to finish and with the height that he brings it is important to have someone like a cardi and it works perfectly with him and gomez up top both from Argentina you can build a lovely hybrid around those with his overall pace he feels good his dribbling it's a little bit awkward because he doesn't have the skills he has a two-star skill move so yeah overall like you're looking really to focus the attack around him hold on to possession play it over to the quick guys and get the goals like that Akadi though is known for scoring and he's really good in the air I like him for 200,000 coins it's a good buy Gomez though is the best purchase you want to buy gomez out of the two he's going to be the most fun to use and what he was doing in this team scoring some outrageous goals which really shouldn't go in and his strength even though he's five foot five he's actually strong he's a pocket rocket most of these guys are small but mighty it's perfect the team doesn't lie you've got gomez who is five foot five he's going to get the rebounds he's going to be able to hold off defenders with the shielding technique it's unbelievable it doesn't really feel natural but it works and his finishing four star skill is four star weak foot he can score with both feet and he was doing a very good job but he wasn't even like the best performing player in this team he was the best overall but it was El Shirari with the tactic of Gomez pushing wide and El Shirari running down the middle it was opening up the play to basically a narrow 4-3-3 which worked ever so well so I thoroughly enjoyed it and then you've got Verratti who fell ever so quick his physical stats he was holding off players it was a completely different card to what I've used previously with his informs. I was disappointed with the inform variety. So the 94 80 team of the season, he is actually playable. I, I can't believe this. These small guys work very well. So I would recommend Verratti, and I think he's just going to drop over time. You've got Biglia that is a the star man in this team. He is a must purchase. If you're considering like going for a CDM in the Serie A, or you're needing an Argentinian guy, pick up Biglia. You're not going to be disappointed. He was going for 45,000 coins at one stage. He's gone up to 55 and he's solid. He's very nice to position. He gets tackles in, breaks up the play. He's what you need. And I, I remember using his non uniform and I thought it was good back then. So this team of the season is a fantastic boost. Siri was um, a little bit of a disappointment. He was getting goals though. Like he was playing well. He didn't feel amazing on the ball and he wasn't that strong going into tackles. So he was a little bit of a letdown. But then again, two out of the three small guys that performed i'm gonna take that and defensively with the tactics that i used that were sent in from darren uh, they worked well in the attack and i was putting my opponent under pressure as soon as i lost the ball though i felt comfortable but i was needing to win it back as soon as possible otherwise i felt myself a little bit open uh, when it came to the back four but tiago silva played well like the back four was good enough i definitely recommend it and the attack it was fun to use it was a really really good team and if you've got a million coins one recommendation would be to take out siri and replace him with someone else who is better in that sentiment position the rest of the team though gets a big thumbs up this team is going to get a four out of five star like four and a half star out of five i'm going to give it i was playing ever so well last night and it was a great side. So thank you ever so much for sending it in, Darren. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.